Okay, the secret to successfully approaching women in public. So what is the secret? Well, the secret is state. Your state is the most important thing other than looks, uh, money, conversation skills, uh, body language, height, uh, muscles or, or no muscles, six packs or, or no six packs. So if you want to learn more, stay on this video and hit that subscribe button, like and share, and you can follow me on my Instagram as well to get more tips and advice on how to build more confidence and become fearless. So I was talking about this to a friend of mine on a WhatsApp message a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about how important state is and a lot of guys um, don't realize this because they don't really have the experience with talking to women or they've never really um, put some effort in. Maybe they've asked one woman out and when she said no, that they've quit. So if you practice talking to people enough, not just you know women, guys, people in general, what I've found fascinating throughout the years is if your state's not good, uh, and what I mean by that is your 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 mood, which is a, the same thing, just a different words. So if you're not in a good mood, and and you feel negative, and you're trying to get a good response from people, but in most time, in most cases, you're not going to get good response. You're going to get back what you've projected. So when you're in a good mood and you're in a good state, and you speak to a woman, you know they usually respond well straight away because they can they can feel and sense and very quickly read that you're positive and you're in a good mood and you know that positive energy makes people feel good and it makes them feel relaxed and being in state is not just about being in, in a good mood which is important it's actually about getting out of your head which is where most guys go wrong that 99 percent of the problems that men have with building relationships with women and approaching women and talking to women and feeling comfortable around women and expressing themselves is they're in their head too much. They're too paranoid and, and worried about what the girl's thinking about them or how they're coming across. So when you're in state, you're not in your head. You're just in that flow. Uh, and, and there's been loads of scientific proof to back this up. But I don't really need that. I'm just referring to it because I've got my own experience. I've seen how, how it's played out for me and you know so many other guys um, when I was coaching, when I was doing dating coaching, and I saw it with so many clients that when they weren't in a good mood, they wouldn't really get a good conversation going or they wouldn't get a date. But when they was in a good mood and I could get them into a positive state, all of their sense of humour was coming out. The women really liked them, really responded well. And it's a lot easier to have a conversation. You know, when you're in state, social anxiety doesn't exist. You know, anxiety with talking to women in public, you know, anxiety with talking to people in general, it just really flows well. And I'm in state today doing this video. You can probably tell that I'm not having to think too much about what I'm saying. The words are just coming out. So you, once you understand this, which is why I'm giving you the education on this, once you've been educated and you, are, you fully understand what state means and how to use state to your benefit, you'll start to get much better results with your relationships. And you'll start to feel a lot more relaxed around women, especially when you're talking to women in public, because... If you speak to women in public and you're negative, they're just going to ignore you or they're going to react negatively or they're not really going to be interested in sticking around and having a conversation with you and getting to know you. So state's really important and I guess the next question you're probably asking is how can I get my state good? And I'm going to explain in this video. So the first way you get your state good is by consciously wanting to be in a good state. That's the first thing. You have to want to be in a good mood. And the second tip is you've got to practice talking until your state changes. So at the start, let's say the start of most people's days, right? When they wake up and go to work or they wake up to do their projects, they don't wake up in a good mood for most part, right? In most cases. So in order to get into a good mood, you've got to you know, you've got to have a conversation or you've got to make a video vlog or you've got to talk to your partner or your parents or speak to somebody in, in a shop. I've done a lot of videos on that about how to get over anxiety with talking to shopkeepers. You can check the video out, I'll leave a link. So you've got to go through this process where you push yourself, you force yourself to speak when you don't feel like it until you start reaching a point where it's like a video game. You start seeing that bar go up, the energy bar. Once the bar starts going up and you start feeling that subtle shift in mood, then you can continue. Or you can just put some music on. Sometimes good music will just shift you right into state. 
or you can focus on your goals or you can you know you can make a woman's day or you can do something positive for someone you can help someone something that makes you feel good the feel good factor even things like you know eating a good diet cooking a meal or, or tidying up i've done all i've said all this in all the other videos cleaning your apartment you know having a shower putting some nice clothes on but to actually get good at conversation um you know have good conversation skills of women and talking to women in public you have to exercise your, your tools, you have to practice talking way more than the average person does because most people, this is how they work, this is how their mind is. They won't speak unless they have to. And that could mean going out or talking to someone for hours, especially in lockdown weeks. So you have to program yourself and train yourself to speak more regularly than you normally would. So when you're in a situation where you want to speak to a woman in public or a girl in public that you like, you're already in state because you've warmed up prior. Whereas if you don't practice being social, and this is, let me explain something. A lot of guys go wrong where they're not very social in their life. They're not social with their family, with their friends, with their peer workers or, or other people at university or people at work. They're not social with the people around them. And they don't realize how much this affects your self-confidence and your your confidence of approaching women in public or in any social situation. So if you've been social in your life, if you are social in your life, your state will be much better than the average person. So I get into state because I do so many YouTube videos that you, you probably see if you subscribe to my channel. There's hundreds of videos. I'm always practicing. I'm always putting content out. And that's because I enjoy helping people. But it's also because I enjoy getting into a good state and maintaining it. So it's practice, 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 practice. And another great tip is taking small steps. So if you're too nervous and you're not in the mood to have a long conversation, when you're going into a shop to get your coffee, just say hello to someone, just say hi, how's your day? Or, or thank you for the coffee, have a great day. Those little sound bites, those little extra words that probably you usually wouldn't be bothered to say, they, they start changing your state. So most of state is changing from one state to another, a negative state to a positive state or an anti-social state to a very social state. And I'm telling you, man, once you understand this, you will understand that you could have nice clothes on, you could have money in your bank account, you could, you could be successful in your business, but if you're in a negative state and you go up to a woman, she's probably gonna turn you down. She doesn't, she doesn't even care about your money or, or your clothes or if you know celebrities or, or whatever kind of status that you have. As far as she's concerned, the guys came up and he's moody or negative and she just doesn't want to be a part of that. So it really is powerful. And I think, I've seen it over the years, this is probably why I attracted some really beautiful women that maybe, maybe people would have said, oh, you wouldn't be able to get a woman that good looking for whatever reason. Maybe they think I'm not good looking enough. That, let's just say that's their assumption. But the reason why I was able to pull that off is because a very positive state, you know, charming, confident, and being able to make a woman feel good and make her laugh and be able to build a connection with her. And, you know, like any human being, to have that good experience, everybody wants to feel good when they talk to people. So being in state with regards to successfully approaching women in public is about, um, you know, um, having good conversations and being in a good mood. So think about that today. Look back at your experiences and start practicing it and you're gonna see straight away your results improve. And then you can add the other things if you want, like clothes and improve finances or go to the gym. Th th those things have their place, but fundamentally, they're not as important as your mood. Bad mood, bad reaction. Good mood, good reaction. Uh, Anti-social, you're gonna get the same back. If you're in a positive social state, it, it will come back. So state is so important, and it's learning how to cultivate that and practice it. And also, when you get into a good state, it's learning how to maintain it because it's okay you get in there you're feeling good but if you can't maintain it and you drop back down to like that depressed state then you're not going to um, get results and it's basically about basically comes down to happiness isn't it a happy person a happy guy that's talking to women is going to get better results than, than a miserable guy or a depressed guy or a guy that feels sorry for himself or is making excuses all the time or complaining or feeling sorry for himself it's just not going to work. It just there's something in the programming of men and women, of human psychology, and it's the same for men as well. If someone came up to you in public and they were negative and stuff, you're not going to want to talk to them. 
let's be honest, most times you're not, but if they were friendly and, and positive and they smiled and you felt safe and you knew they were trustworthy and positive, you're more likely to speak to them. So you have to put yourself in a woman's position as well to understand what it feels like. You can't always, most guys just think outwardly, they just think, oh, how they want to come across to the women. But think about it. Think about how you'd feel if someone came up to you in public and, and their head was down or they were mumbling or they were in a bad mood or they, they looked angry. You, you wouldn't want to speak to them. You wouldn't, you wouldn't feel safe. So positive emotions and they, they communicate safety and it makes um, you know, people feel relaxed. So this um, understanding is not just saying, oh, this is what women um, want and they're attracted to. No, this is, a, this is a, for everyone. This is also um, what you're attracted to, what, where you feel comfortable with. So um, that's the lesson today. And like I said, it, you have to practice it. You have to, if you're someone that's quite moody and always down and low on energy and stuff, then you, you, you're the only one who can change that. You've got to work at it. I work at it every day. Some days, like everyone, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like making videos. I don't feel like going out, but I'll push myself. I'll clean or tidy or you know, do something positive or send someone a positive message or put a positive YouTube video out. And then my state will change. Then I'll feel good and it will, it will carry through the day. So this is some great life lessons that I've shared with you today that not only help you to successfully approach women in public and, and get an honest relationship or you meet your ideal woman, but also to be better with people in general, you know, and to get over your your social anxiety. Because that's what social anxiety will try and do, it try and drag you into a negative state, all right? So you've got the power and the potential within you, right? So if you enjoyed the video, again, like, share, comment, and I'll see you next one. Become fearless.